Welcome to this video tutorial where I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to create an SEO optimized article with completely free AI tools. By the end of the video, you're going to have a blog post that might look like this with an AI generated background, a, a podcast about the blog post, which you can embed on your site. This will, this is really good from an SEO perspective because it provides users another way to consume your content. It also keeps users longer on your website, which is a really good signal from SEO. Let's have a quick listen. Welcome back everybody for another deep dive. This time we're gonna be tackling the world of SEO. Mm. Well, fuck. Specifically. Cool. We're also gonna have some external backlinks, which you want to do for SEO. We're gonna have some illustrations and that's all generated by free AI tools again. We're even gonna have some AI images that's completely generated with AI and some gifts if you want to. This just all adds some variation to your blog post, making it really nice to read. Because remember, at the end of the day, we want to be writing for humans and not so much for AI bots. Although you need to make sure that you have the correct structure for the crawlers to crawl and rank your website. If you don't know me, my name's Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking Hub, where we simplify SEO and we help you rank your website number one with the help of the latest AI tools and automations. If you wanna learn and get started and how to do that, I suggest you join our free community called the AI Ranking Hub, where there's a lot more resources for you. I'll leave the link in the video description below. Let's get started right away though. Really, it all starts with good research and what better way to do research with Perplexity? It's my go-to search engine these days. And we're going to write about something a bit tricky. So we're going to do the research initially. The, the prompt here is just to do research about what the effects of AI will be on education, in particular, how the reasoning models like GPT-01 Preview and Mini might affect education. I'm asking you to please provide me with the resources that it finds to make sure that I have those URLs which I'll be able to embed in my blog post and Claude is going to do that for us. Again, I'm using all the free versions of this and all the other tools that I show you throughout this video will be detailed in the video description below. I'm gonna hit enter and see what perplexity finds for. Perfect, so I've got the research already and if I click on the copy button with a clipboard and I open up a brand new Google Doc that's empty, I'm going to paste the research that I just copied. I'll see that at the bottom, I've got the URLs which Perplexity used to find this information. I wanna have a quick read. I've got personalized learning, instant feedback, engagement. These are pretty good ways that AI might affect the education system. Now, I've got my research done. I want to kind of prepare Claude with a really good prompt. Now, if you go to the free community, which I've listed in the details below, and I'll leave a link to this, and you go to prompts here. There's a prompt already that I use quite a bit for Claude copywriter prompt. That's what we're going to use, but we need to prepare it a little bit. We're going to double click it and copy it. And you're going to paste the entire thing in a Google sheet. You'll have to do a little bit of work here, but trust me, a little bit of preparation goes a long way in improving the quality of your blog post. There's a couple of things that we want to see. We want to insert the main keywords. There'll be sections that you need to change and amend yourself. Now, insert the main keyword. For this instance, we're going to go the effects of AI in education. And then the audience and the country, uh, I'm just going to say Australia for now. The rest we can keep as it is. I recommend you go through the prompt and you can always change the tone of voice, the vocabulary to fit something that you like. Giving this to Claude really gives it a nice, it really gives it good structure and an understanding of what it's supposed to be writing about. Now, right at the end, again, we just want to clarify the couple of things that we wanted to integrate here. So you see here that the main keyword or question, I'm going to answer, place in how will AI affect education? will be the main question that I'm ultimately trying to answer with the blog. This is gonna add value to the reader because if they're wondering that question themselves, well, we have the answer. The FAQs, well, we can ask another question to perplexity and just say, what are the main FAQs about this? Just asking what are the main FAQs about this topic? And I've got a couple here, let's just do the first four. And I'm going to place it in my prompt. Don't worry if it looks messy, that doesn't matter. When we give it to Claude, it'll sort things out. 
The secondary keyword and questions, to be honest, I don't even want to do that at the moment. I don't want to uh, really make this a little bit more complicated. Where I do want to amend this thing, it says ensure to hyperlink these resources appropriately. And I need to insert the links. I need to go back to the document where I had everything here and I can do the citations accordingly. Now, you can really be specific and tell it that this blog is about that, this keyword, so make sure you choose, you place that in there. But with the URL itself, Claude kind of understands enough what the blog post is about, so it should be able to embed that appropriately. I'm just going to copy all these and place it below, place it into the overall uh, document. Perfect, I just wanna double check this. I'm using to follow a bit of a GQ kind of style um, in terms of the blog post, so that's all right. I'm going to copy this entire thing. So I've got the keyword, I've got the research and everything like that. I'm going to go to Claude and I've got the free version here. You can see that because I've got here use limited free plan. Um, I'm gonna make sure that I've got the Sonnet new version done. I'm gonna paste everything and just hit enter. All the prompt is there. So it's structuring all the components and it's opening up the background here. It's quite good. What I've added within the prompt is to tell you when to place the images throughout the blog post because Claude can't create the images. That's okay, but you see here, how AI is transforming education, how AI is transforming education, fantastic. And it's even telling us to insert an image, a modern Australian classroom with students using tablets learning. Just like it's telling us how to even interact and place all the images there. Perfect. So with the blog completed, I'm just gonna copy the blog post here. And depending on which CMS you have, which website builder you have, if you paste this in a Google Doc, for example, it's just gonna give you the markdown, which is okay. Uh, but I want to see how it looks like. So I'm gonna go uh, Markdown Preview. And the first one here. Perfect, that looks a little bit better. Now I have an understanding of the fact that it's using the backlinks that I asked it to do through the blog post. And I really like how this is looking like. I'm gonna copy now the whole thing here. It should copy across with a nice formatting. Perfect, even the backlinks and everything. I wanna test these to make sure that it's actually referencing the links that I provided it. This is really important from SEO. And if I look at that, it looks like it's redirecting, fantastic. These are really high quality sources that it's referencing. This is really good from an SEO perspective. Okay, so what's next? I have my blog posts and you can go and amend it if you want to. I highly recommend you do. For example, I think adding good A in the beginning of a blog post for Australians is horrible. So I'll just delete that, go through it and make sure that I'm happy with it. Now, if we look throughout the blog post, you'll see that there are some sections that tells you to insert the image. This is doing a lot of the work for you, but you might be wondering, well, how do I create an image for AI for free? Well, welcome to the next free AI tool, and it's going to be recraft.ai. These are the guys that created Red Panda, which is the best AI image generation model to date, at least as of the time of this recording. There's a link below to sign up and you're gonna get additional credits to use it if you use the link below. Using that, we're going to create a new project and it's going to look like this. You're going to press the image button here and we're just going to change the parameters of the image. Let's say that. Um, and the model that we're gonna use is the photo realism. It's really up to you. If you want more of a, let's say cartoon character, you can use that or whatever you want. Just to have a bit of fun, uh, let's make it into an illustration. Um, and what we're going to do is we're just going to use the prompt that Claude has given us. We're going to back go back to recraft.ai, modern Australian classroom with students using tablets in interactive displays. And we're gonna leave it at that. We're gonna go recraft. It's gonna generate the image for us. Again, this is all 100% free. Perfect, that's pretty good. I even got two variations here and I'm liking this one a little bit. I'm going to do just one more and change the, the style just to see which one comes out a little bit better. Let's do just a vector art. Again, I want to change it to that aspect ratio so it's gonna look nicer in my blog post. You don't have to, it really depends what you like. Cool, this is actually looking a little bit better. Uh, but to be honest, I think I like these ones here. So I'm gonna choose this one and I'm going to uh, download it as a JPEG. I can download it as a PNG, but a PNG is a little bit too heavy. And we're actually going to even optimize this even more before we put it into our blog post. I'm going to download it 
and I'm going to go to a website called Tiny Panda. This is completely free. Why you want to do this is because you want to make the image as light as possible. Otherwise your website or your blog post is going to load slowly, which is a bad component from an SEO perspective. So already you can see here that I've saved 78%. I've reduced it by that much amount of size. And if I look at the image, it looks exactly the same. I really couldn't tell the actual difference in terms of quality. So I've got it here, perfect. I probably should have deleted that, uh, but that's all right, we'll keep it as it is. I'm gonna go back to my blog post and instead of placing that here, I'm gonna put my JPEG here, boom. So now I've got my image for my blog post, perfect. What else could I add to my blog post that's going to make it nice and easy to read? Well, maybe let's, maybe let's add some illustrations. So I'm going to copy this section here and I'm going to go to another free tool called Napkin AI. This is gonna create the illustration for me. Once you sign in, you'll have to click through a couple of questions that it asks you. I'm going to, uh, by pasting text to the content, I'm gonna paste it. I'm going to click this button here. It's going to read everything that I've pasted and give me an option of the illustrations that I can generate. Perfect, so uh, personalized learnings, cons. Mm, let's go back. This one is pretty good. I like this one here. Let's change it with a few colors. And I can even format it more if I wanted to use certain colors and stuff like that, I can. But for now, I'll leave it as it is. I'm going to download this. I'm going to download it as NPG, background off. I can copy it to a clipboard or I can even download it. Again, it's a PNG, so it's a bit heavy. I'm going to go to Tiny Panda and make sure I optimize my image. Get into the habit of doing this. This is very good. You can see here that I've saved 69% in terms of making that image 69% lighter. Now I can place that at the bottom of the section that is about the illustration that I just generated. And now I'm gonna to go to here. Perfect, this looks pretty good. Everything else is re looking really good. Uh, I'm just going to delete that section here. I've got the backlinks. I'm gonna go through, see, make sure that there's nothing funky here. Now, you've got the call to action here to see if you've got it, to see if you need it, meaning that if you wanna direct users to somewhere in your website, which you should do, You've got that ability to do that. I'm going to delete that here. So now I'm kind of nearly ready to go. The last thing that I need to do to create a podcast about this, what I wanna do is go to Google Notebook LM. This is free, it's an incredible tool, and it's got a lot more things that I'm gonna show you that you can do here. But for now, when you make an account and you start up, you're going to do here, paste text. I'm going to paste the text that I just generated with Claude and the research, I'm gonna insert it. This will pop up and if it doesn't, all you're gonna go is notebook guide and you're going to go generate. You can instruct it as well in terms of what you want it to touch on, the two podcasters, and you're gonna give that a second, it's going to generate your podcast for you. While that's generating, let's go to the back end of your website, whether that's WordPress, Wix or anything else, and you're going to start uploading this to your site. So I'm in the back of my uh, website, my Webflow website, and it doesn't matter what you use. If it's WordPress, Wix, whatever, you can use the same thing. Now I can start filling all this out. I've got the blog post that I've just written on another screen here. I'm just copying it uh, to make sure everything is good. So I've got the blog post title done, and then I'm going to copy the, the rest of my assets or the entire blog post really in the section where I can, so the rich text, perfect. All right, now in the generation from Claude, at the bottom there should be a little meta description. I want to copy that and there should be a section for you to add a meta description to your blog post. It's really important that you do that. Uh, and that is in here, the excerpt. Okay, now I know that I need to do one more thing and that's create a image for this. I can use that image or really whatever I want. Um, I can create another feature image, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm just gonna use the same one that I already used and I'm gonna add them both here. So now I've got my blog post. It's got the images, it's got some illustrations. Now what I am missing is to add my podcast. The podcast is generating, that'll take a few minutes. In that time, you should get a 
SoundCloud account. And this might seem like a lot of work, but trust me, it's worth it. You're adding so much, you're adding so much value here. You can go to SoundCloud, create an account. You can upload here. And once the audio file is done that you just generated, you're gonna drop it in here. We're gonna do this together. When your blog, when your podcast is finished from Google Notebook LM, it'll look like this. This is hey everyone, and welcome long. to our deep dive today. We're gonna be looking at perfect. What you want to do is download, and then I'm just going to drop this where it says to drop the audio file. You need to give it a few minutes. Make sure you name it appropriately, and you can add some artwork here. And funnily enough, we have a tool that allows to do that. So let's add some fun artwork and it needs to be square. So let's see if we can add an image here. Let's make sure we've applying to the illustration, uh, the vector art, uh, let's leave it as it is and recraft here. Again, we're using the same model to do the images. This has a lot more functionalities, recraft AI. I suggest you check it out. It might be your way to not have to pay for Canva anymore. It is that good. Uh, but for now, perfect. I'm just going to use that. That's fine. I'm going to download as a JPEG. In this instance, I don't really need to format it and uh, optimize it. SoundCloud is going to do that for me. I'm just going to drop the image file and I'm just going to click upload here. Once it's uploaded, you're going to view your track and you're after the embed code here. If this is sounding too difficult, trust me, it's really, really quite easy and it's going to make things a lot easier. You can see that it's still being processed. We need to go back and we need to come back in a little bit. Once that has been loaded, you can go back here and go to share. What we're looking for is this embed code here. Oh, sorry. What we're looking for is going to the embed tab and it'll come up with a code here. That says for WordPress, but it's not just for WordPress. It can be for any website, really. So I'm um, going to go to my blog post, the back end. I'm just going to lower this a little bit and say something fun like, hey, would you rather listen to the podcast instead? And here I'm going to add this, I'm going to add this uh, plus button. Now, this will change depending on your website, on your WordPress, Webflow, uh, Squarespace, whatever, but they'll all have this option to inject some HTML or to add some code, custom code editor. You're gonna paste that uh, iframe code from SoundCloud. We're going to save it. Perfect, now let's see what the outcome looks like. I'm going to make sure that I've saved this. And now I've got here my blog post in the front end, how AI is transforming education in Australia. I've got the embedded podcast. I've got the images. I've got the backlinks. I've got my illustration. And I've got my completed blog post that's going to be really, really nice to read. And that's it. If you repeat this process, if you start writing at least four blog posts a week, I promise you that after a month, you will see some results. Just make sure you go through the process and do the due diligence about this stuff. If you wanna learn more about how to maximize your search engine optimization with AI tools like this and even automations that will help you facilitate this even more, I suggest you check out our AI ranking community. There's a premium version and a free version. The premium version gives you a lot more support. There's a lot more SEO experts in there, even a WordPress expert in there to help you out. Some two weekly meetings as well, just to accelerate the learning process for you. It's a lot of fun, but if not, just continue with the free community. All the assets that I spoke about will be there and there's some more stuff in there for you. If you like this video, just give me a subscribe and a like and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.